Hello, my name is Monica Bednarek and I work at the Department of Linguistics at the University of Sydney. This screencast belongs to a series called Key Concepts in Corpus Linguistics and the topic for this screencast is word frequency. This is just a very brief screencast with an introduction to word frequency. So, a word frequency list can usually be displayed in a Corpus Linguistics software program in alphabetic order or in order of frequency. In the list on the left, the first word is A, followed by other words starting with A, regardless of their corpus frequency. This is the alphabetic list. In the list on the right, the first word is the, because this is the most frequent word in the corpus, followed by and, of, to, a, in, and so on. So this is the uh, frequency list, ordered according to frequency. So an alphabetic list like the one on the left is useful because individual items can be found easily and also um, you can use this list to check for spelling variation or spelling errors. Ordering according to frequency on the other hand shows you the general features of a corpus and it can be the basis for selecting words for further investigation. It also can highlight anomalies in your corpus. So one way in which we can use the frequency information is to check whether or not corpus is in fact balanced or well designed. For example, if we had designed a corpus that contains DVD blurbs, so the, um, the text on the back of um, DVDs advertising a TV series, and if we found that the most frequent words included the word for, this might suggest that maybe we included too many blurbs from the fourth season of a TV series in the corpus. So a frequency list can highlight anything unusual in your corpus, which may or may not be the result of problems with the corpus design. That's it. Thank you for listening.